Uh, I am Dr. Vijay Agarwal. I am the Chief Pediatric Cardiac Surgeon and Director at Fortis uh, Memorial Research Institute, Gurgaon uh, and Fortis uh, Rahija, Mumbai. Today, uh, the topic in which I would want uh, to share knowledge with you is uh, called the Arterial Switch Operation and Root Translocation Operation. So, in layman's terms, uh, uh, there uh, is a condition in which the uh, vessels coming out from the heart, namely the aorta and the pulmonary artery, are switched with each other. So, just to give you an example, in a normal heart, the left ventricle gives rise to the aorta and the right ventricle gives rise to the pulmonary artery. In transposition of great arteries, this arrangement is reversed, which means the left ventricle gives rise to the pulmonary artery and the right ventricle gives rise to the aorta. So that is why the operation is called the switch operation, the arterial switch, because these are the two great arteries, the aorta and the pulmonary artery, and they are reversed. So you have to do the arterial switch operation. That is where we need to uh, uh, do this operation. Uh, which is a quite a complex operation and uh, here you not only have to switch the great arteries but also the coronary arteries which are arising from the iota they also have to be switched we all know that uh, uh, from bypass in adult uh, uh, population we have the left coronary artery and the right coronary artery so because of this congenital condition we not only have to switch the great arteries which is the iota and the pulmonary artery but we also have to switch the coronary arteries, the right and the left to the other arteries. So when the child is born, they are generally blue and the diagnosis of this condition is done by a test called echocardiography where we pick up the diagnosis by the cardiologist and they tell us that this baby is suffering from TGA, transposition of great arteries or the reverse great arteries and therefore we have to do this arterial switch operation. In today's day and age, it is quite a complex operation. But the results are improving day by day and you can do this operation quite safely with in many cases the success rate is more than 95 percent so in this condition uh, of transposition of great arteries and pulmonary stenosis where the valve is small as i said it is called transposition of great arteries vsd which is a hole in the heart and pulmonary stenosis you cannot do just a arterial switch you have to do something more so here we uh, at fMRI, we do this operation quite uh, frequently uh, called the Nikaido Bex operation or the root translocation operation. So what we do is that as I said previously in transposition of great arteries, the left ventricle gives rise to the pulmonary artery and the right ventricle gives rise to the iota. So we have to do take out the aortic root from the right ventricle take it out completely along with the valve and along with the coronary arteries and push it towards the pulmonary valve. Pulmonary valve is very small. So in that place we put a normal size aortic valve and the coronary arteries. And by doing this, the left ventricle and the aorta are now in one line. And what happens to the pulmonary valve? We use an artificial conduit or an artificial valve to connect the right ventricle to the pulmonary artery. By doing this procedure, you are bringing back, back normalcy in that child. So these children are also uh, born blue and they survive to a little older age and we can do this operation whenever the child presents and generally these operations are done after the six months of age. So both these operations are quite interesting and challenging and we'll be sharing some pictures and diagrams with you and if you have any queries, you can always write to us. Uh, at the uh, email and uh, the uh, contact us on the number given below and we will be happy to answer any of your queries. Thank you so much.